G'day guys, I thought I'd make a video on the Kaleos. <clears throat> you don't um, need to deal with the electric handbrake on this vehicle. I have noted it before, but I've never made a foam note. I guess by making videos, it actually um, sort of reaffirms stuff. But the electric handbrake on this, this car, um, that's the main cable. So the, 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 the motor drive is inside the vehicle at the rear, and it's very simple. It pulls that cable back to this point here, um, this point here, which then pulls, pulls both the cables. <laughs> so you've got the traditional, it's like a, a bolt-on electric handbrake. This is the way you could very easily have your own bolt-on electric handbrake by having a conversion to split the cable up there. But it's really good because, you know, it usually goes all right on the BMWs and stuff with the electric handbrake, but on the Audis and that, you can push the button 10 times and it won't wind in and you've got to help it. So you've got the scanner and you're sort of helping the piston and then it'll go in once the cars are aged and that. Um, so this is your standard sort of... Um, standard sort of braking setup and uh yeah unlike the kangoo the rubbers aren't torn because it probably is a um I hesitate to say what, what part it is, but it's very Japanese with the 14 and the eight and the blue marker. <laughs> so anyway, hope that helps, but yeah, standard procedure. The electric handbrake is absolutely independent working on the drum within the disc. You can do the adjustment there as I've shown on the Subarus and that. Um, but yeah, depending on, you'd sort of think if it's going, you're gonna need an adjustment. So, otherwise, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> so, hope that helps. Bye.